All right, I'm going to be replacing the seals on this uh, Bennett trim tab here. Um, I'm actually going to be doing both of them. That one's, this one's leaking. Uh, you can see the fluid coming out right there. That one's not leaking, but they look pretty simple to do, and uh, I figure I might as well. Gonna loosen this guy slow. Oh. All right, so I finished that one already. Um, that one was a pain in the butt, but I learned a couple things, so hopefully this, uh, this one will go smoother. Um, step out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna take the hose clamp and start it around here, around the piston shaft that comes out the bottom. Things you're gonna want uh, drain pan, uh, hose clamp, probably a roll of paper towels. I've got some brake cleaner to help clean up a little bit. And then uh, a hammer, uh, something to help push the piston in. I'm using a uh, seal driver here out of my seal driver kit. A couple of picks to get the, um, what do you call it, the seals out uh, once we've got the piston apart. Um, all right. Don't need to really don't need I, I was thinking we needed on the first one I pushed this all the way down as far as I could really all we're trying to do is there's a um, a nipple that comes out here and the piston pushes up against it all we need to do is just pull that down just enough to get the to get it to where it's not pushing on that okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off here now so that way when we twist this to unscrew it, it doesn't scrape against the hose clamp there. pan underneath here. Okay, not too much spillage. I'll go ahead and dump what's in there in my drain pan. drive this pin out here of the uh, that lower shaft that off take a punch put it there I'll drive that pin out Hopefully, let's get this off, maybe. Not quite. There we go. Okay. Pins out. We can take this lower bracket off. And then uh, this got me last time. I started to unscrew this, and that thing shot out. So I'm going to keep this down on the ground this way as I loosen this hose clamp. 
get some good pressure on the cylinder body here, the piston body, whatever you call that. So when it lets go, it doesn't go flying. Like that. There we go. Much better this time around. Okay, so the... That's what it looks like in here if we need to clean that out. Huh. Looks alright. The first seal I'm going to pull is this one here. It comes off this upper groove. Take the old one off. The new one. A little dirty there. With most seals, I like to get just a little bit of fluid or oil or whatever we're working with. And Get a little coating just that way it doesn't stick and rip or curl off or something like that. Okay. All right, so there's the first one done. The second seal is up inside here. Grab the pick, pull that seal out. Same thing here, I got the new one. Um, let's see. A little bit of transmission fluid out of here. And transmission fluid is the hydraulic fluid in the, my trim tab system. I think that's one of the recommended fluids if I remember right. This back up in there, make sure it gets all flush in there. Okay. All right. So what I used last time, uh, this is, uh, seal driver and just set it on here. Just something to help push the uh, piston up inside here. I'll put some pressure on it and then I'm gonna put the hose clamp back on top and clamp it down. Just enough to get that hole lined up. Drag the pin back in. Figure out which way it came out. Too far. It's probably good. Oh yeah, ran into this last time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, this hose clamp back off of here.
which I guess I didn't really need to do that, but that's right. I'm gonna put the screws in uh, backwards so I can actually pull out on this. pull and can actually hook the uh, lip of the cylinder over over the edge of the trim tab just to hold it in place for a minute um, maybe not work better on the other one go ahead and tighten this hose clamp up enough. hose clamp off now. Push this back down to release the tension and yep, it's going to come. Cool. And that's done. I'm just going to bleed the uh, fluid and refill the reservoir up in the boat. All right, this system is supposed to be self bleeding. Um, supposed to be able to run each tab up and down three or four times and just uh, keep the fluid in here topped off. level here. Let me go run this up and down a couple of times and we'll check the fluid level. All right so after doing uh, four complete up and down cycles um, I'm supposed to be at that line currently sitting here 
Um, I don't have any funnels that fit that little tiny hole, so I went and stole from inside one of these little syringes you use to give kids medicine. Use that, might take a bit, but should work. All right, topped off the fluid to the line. Um, ran through three or four more cycles on each uh, each trim tab, pull up, pull down. I'm sorry, pull down, then pull up. Uh, fluid level didn't really change, so I think we're good. And I'll call that a wrap.